Morning everyone. I'm going to read what I wrote this morning about creative flow. I often find myself moving forward creatively, making discoveries, to then feel that the creative gods have put the brakes on. The only way to get back into flow is to be patient and recognise that sense of ebb and flow. A little period of feeling stuck will always be followed by a period of clarity. I also have to remember that when I make an awful mess, it might be the link to something better. Seeing the ugly stages of a painting as the transition phase, it's a good positive way forward in art. It's, it's a good way to find your creative growth. I have a habit of writing every morning and I also have a habit of reading what I wrote on the same day a year ago. And a year ago, I wrote that the further forward I go, old habits, negative thinking, self-doubts seem to belong to someone else. So creatively, you just have to commit, keep moving forward, be patient. It's In life in general, everything isn't all going to be um, plain sailing it's going to be bumpy. So take the creative bumps and know that when there's an ebb, there will be a flow. <laughs> it's like thought for the day. Those are my thoughts this morning. You will probably notice that behind me, I had another shuffle with the paintings. They were definitely a bit of a trip last week and stopped me from concentrating completely on what I was doing in the cabin. Sketchbooks are the source of everything. All good beginnings seem to come from my sketchbooks. I was having a look, feeling stuck, I was having a look through, and these really heavy pages in my travel sketchbook prompted me to come up with um, a series of three. I'll put, I'll put a picture, I'll drop a picture in. A series of three small artworks around the theme of fruit in a bowl and working off of those three that's led me on to a larger painting which I'm really enjoying I've got the initial marks down just mark making at the moment I've also decided to experiment I don't know why this didn't dawn on me in the first place but I can push the jelly on directly onto the sketchbook page and see where that takes me. I'm going, to keep making, I'm going to keep making cards, I'm going to keep playing with the jelly plate, I'm going to keep painting and 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 I'm still thinking about more aubergines. I feel like, I feel as though there's an aubergine painting in the pipeline. <laughs> I talked about the bowl of fruit idea and these are And these are the three little paintings that have now, bear with me, I've put down just initial marks on a slightly bigger format. That you can just about see is the last week so I did a little bit more work on that one and that one again the same I'm going to experiment with putting I'll go and fix the camera and I'm going to experiment with the jelly plate and I'm going to see what happens if I try and register straight into my sketchbook page onto my sketchbook page so that's what I'm going to do next. Here we are then. I've got the jelly with that backing plate. I'm using a Posca. This is a 5M. I like this size. 
and I've got a new packet of Posca Pale Colours. So I've had a little play. <laughs> Everything's turning to aubergine at the moment. I like that pink ground um, working really well as a link between the aubergine and the green. That's that's a nice little a nice little find. So I can play with that. This was really inexpensive in the home store. It's a plate bag. <laughs> And at the moment it's a card rack so as well as my my overhead line i need really to be touching them as little as possible so if i can just pick them up edge to edge and get them in this rack it's working quite well my hands are paint shirt my hands are dry even though they're a bit grim that although there's no design in there. I love the colours 
and I like the turquoise in that one and in that one. I'm not trying to get a finished result with the jelly plate. I like it as a painty ground to then work into. Mm -hmm. 